So we just finished creating an existing grade surface, as you can see here. We have our contours that were created from the polylines that were assigned elevations that we originally received from the surveyor. And you can see evidence of that if we were to select our surface. I just right clicked and I clicked select and you can see that our surface contours, they match the survey's contours really well. However, there are other options for being able to create an existing grade surface even if you don't have maybe uh, some polylines that created the contours as, as you can see in this drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the contours and I'm going to select the information that creates our surface. You can see that it says contour data. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to click delete. It's going to give me a notification that says the selected definition items will permanently be removed from the surface. Yes, I do want this. And it updates the surface with a yellow shield, but we do need to rebuild the surface. If I select the surface, right click, I'm going to select rebuild automatic. So we don't have to automatically rebuild our surface over and over again. Kind of saves some time. So now we just have our polylines once again. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my topo shots. I've got a bunch of topo shots that are comprised of text that currently have a Z position assigned to them. And the Z position, they match what the text says. And I also have a shot. This isn't a, a point shot. However, this is a block. I'm going to create a surface based upon the text that I have. But what, I, what I'll do first is, rather than having a Z position assigned to this shot, which we received from the surveyor, the surveyor is the one that set the Z position, I'm going to right click and select similar. So all of my topo shots are selected. I'm going to go to the Z position. I'm going to type in zero. So it's going to blow out the Z factor with every single topo shot. Or I should say every single piece of text that I have. So I'm going to escape out of this and I'm going to isolate these shots. So now all that we have are all of our topo shots that it's, it's just straight up text at, set at a zero elevation. So no elevation assigned to it. What I'll do first is I'm going to go over to my tool space, then right click on my surface. I'm going to select my surface. And then I get a contextual ribbon for the tin surface. I've got all, the, all of these options. I'm going to go to move to surface, click that drop down. And then this is very important. I'm going to move the text to an elevation. So what Civil 3D will do is every single piece of text that has text that's, that pretty much has a numeric value assigned to it, it's going to assign that elevation to that value. So right now I currently have a zero elevation. I'm going to select all of my text then press enter. I'm going to zoom into one of my shots then select it and then go under properties and you can see that it now has a Z value assigned to it. So that conversion that we did where we're taking the text value and we're converting it and moving it to an elevation, AutoCAD or Civil 3D more or less did that for us. They made that conversion happen. Now it's set at 59.3 which is what the text said originally. And what I'll do now is I can add this text to my existing grade surface. And the way that I accomplish that is I go under tool space and then go under my surface. Make sure you're under the definition and then click on drawing objects. Right click on drawing objects, then click add. 
we get our add to points from drawing objects dialog box. But this is very important. You want to click this drop down menu under object type and select text. I'll go ahead and give it a description. I'm going to call it topo shots. Then click OK. Now it's asking us to select the objects. Go ahead and select all of your shots, then press enter. And now it shows up within our surface. Just to make sure and confirm that it is in fact within our surface, I'm going to thaw my layers and there it is. Here are all of our contours based upon all of those text shots that are currently drawing objects within our surface. As you can see, it doesn't quite match the survey as well as the polylines that we use to create our surface as contours. So I hope that helps. I hope that you'll be able to distinguish the best way to be able to convert information that you might not necessarily have in order to create an existing grade surface.